In this video, we'll look at whether Cl2, this is chlorine gas, is ionic or covalent. The short answer, it's nonpolar covalent, also called nonpolar molecular. Let's look at the periodic table here, see why that might be. We have chlorine right here, and that's a nonmetal. So we have a nonmetal, and then this other chlorine atom is a nonmetal as well. When we have a nonmetal plus a nonmetal, that's going to be a covalent compound. So according to the periodic table, metals and nonmetals, chlorine, Cl2, should be a covalent or molecular compound. Let's look at electronegativity. That's something we can use also to determine whether it's ionic or covalent. So this periodic table here has electronegativity values listed. We're looking for the difference between the two atoms bonded together to determine whether it's ionic or covalent. When we look at chlorine right here, it's 3.0, right next to fluorine, which is the most electronegative element on the periodic table. So if we look at the difference, we have chlorine 3.0, but this chlorine here, that's 3.0 as well. So 3.0 minus 3.0, that gives us a difference of zero. So there's really no difference in the electronegativity here. These are equal. When we think about bonding, we think of it as a continuum. So here we have on one end, nonpolar covalent, and then on the other side, ionic. And if we look at the difference in electronegativity, if it's less than 0.5, we consider that nonpolar covalent. Here we have zero. You couldn't be much less. So we consider Cl2 to be a nonpolar covalent compound. This is Dr. B answering the question whether Cl2 is ionic or covalent. It's covalent, nonpolar covalent. Thanks for watching.